it's day two of our cruise back to Bath and it's actually a really nice day. We predicted rain today and so far it seems like it's gonna be a really nice day so. Last night we all just slept through. It's like the Rufus was so much more chilled. So we're feeling refreshed and we're excited for another day good cruising. Morning Steve. Morning. Morning. Wes doing the engine checks. Wes has found a new stress to be scared about. I'm doing all right because I found it yesterday and yesterday was fine. But the propeller is a weird shape. So you can only really see it on the rivers because the water's clear enough. But this is what the normal propeller blade looks like. Nice and flat. But one of them looks all wobbly. I don't know if you can really tell on the camera but slightly funny shape but it was fine all yesterday so i think we did that ages ago and we just haven't noticed because we can't see it and when you feel it you can't really tell i think it's fine and we're off There's a big hole in one of these gates, which is always a bit disconcerting. Whenever I'm in the locks, I always sort of think like, what would I do if they suddenly gave way? <laughs> Probably sink and cry, but it's always, yeah, it's a little bit scary seeing that. on the Avon before we get on to the Kennet and Avon Canal again and it's the one with the big sandbank so we're gonna have to do a little maneuver around it. Basically we have to head right towards the big menacing flood lock thing <laughs> and then turn at the last second. Easily done Wes. The weir is pushing me a bit to be fair. Yeah it looks like we're going straight for the wall as well. Nice! Smashed it as per. It did it. Absolutely smashed it. It's quite tight. There's Andy and Steve coming to attempt the manoeuvre as well. Perfect. Amy and Andy have just hauled out something big out of the river. Like a tent or something. What is it? So that's the last lock on the river done. And before we go back onto the KNA Canal, we're going to do like a little mini detour. into the centre of Bath now. This is the main train station into Bath. But before we go back up onto the canal, we're doing a very exciting little manoeuvre. So that's the entrance back up onto the canal. But we're going this way. It's weird going this way because it's not technically on the maps, so it's not really, I think, part of the navigation, really. Here we go, coming up to the, the big famous bridge now. Bridge, so this is where we've walked so many times with the big wheel, and you can get the boats right up to it. They're so cool. So crazy being here. 
we're so glad we was able to do that because when me and bears came we came to kind of like scope it out um, and look at the river before we came on and that was during the floods and the flow was so fast the weir was like really high and super ferocious so it's strange how much the weather affects it because you would have never have thought that we could have easily just bobbed up there had a little look around and turned around easily whereas now yeah it's completely fine compared to when we visited but I'm so glad we were able to do that yeah it's really cool seeing that bridge from a completely different perspective yeah. that you can only really see if you've got a boat and there was a lot of people around like looking and stuff so it's quite cool so we need to go down here but because of the flow of the river we've got to go upstream a little bit turn around and then approach it that way Bears have managed to do it, so Andy's going to go and set the lock, so hopefully we should be able to come in a bit smoother. But yeah, back onto the canals for a bit. It's nice to be back. We're going to do a turn around the bridge. Easy. Nice, back under the bridge. one lockdown and now it's on to the 19 and a half foot deep lock. Going up it's scarier as well. So Wes and Steve are now going to do the lock so that me and Andy can be inside of the really deep lock because that's the next one. So we're just waiting while they empty it. So yeah they're emptying the lock and we're going to drive in it. See how much water that one deep lock uses because look how look at the difference in water line and this area spans all the way down there so we swapped for that one because amy wanted to experience the deep lock too and she smashed it and now we're swapping back and i've got my nice easy job back a couple more locks to go and it's starting to rain the sky's getting very gray now Here's how not to do it. So it turns out that there's a lock training course going on in this lock. So we're just going to let them have a go using us as the guinea pigs. So this is a bunch of people just learning how it all works, which is kind of cool. So far, so good. They did do it a little bit, uh, a little bit quicker than we're used to. <laughs> but luckily, these locks are quite calm. They don't really throw the boat around, so you're all right. Wasn't it? Yeah. 
doesn't it? So the Tesco is just up those stairs. We'd ran out of food. So I did a run dash up the stairs, get some food, pay for it, run down while yeah. Wes was going under the bridge. Genuinely back within, I think, about one minute. So that was quite impressive. Pretty impressive. We're back in the very familiar bath now. Uh, we're just going to moor it pretty soon, probably around Bathampton, and then we'll stay there for the rest of the week, I reckon. It's been a very successful trip. Yeah, I think we planned it really well to do one day to get there, spend like three days, which was just enough, two days back. It's worked out really, really well. And the weather has been perfect. Now we're back on the canals. It's full and busy, tick over all the way, so cracked out the crisps and hummus. While we've been gone, they've refloated this one! Yay. Oh, it's nice to see. Oh, that's good. Woo! Good boy. It feels like we've been gone for about three weeks, but we've actually only been gone about five days. It's really bizarre, and it's just because of how much stuff we've packed in. It's kind of nice as well, because we've been in this area for quite a while now, that I feel like we recognise a lot of the boats, and we kind of know roughly like who lives on them and where they're from. And this is the other boat that also went down that we tried for hours to get out. Floating again! So we were going to moor up ahead, but we didn't realise that they're only two day spots, so we've done a little reversing manoeuvre. Just started raining, but we're pulling the boat in. What a good timing. Go, 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 get inside. Now that could not be any better timing for that whole trip. Look at that, moderate snow or ice warning. Just testing the internet as well, making sure I can work for the rest of the week because I'm back to work tomorrow. Whoa! It's <laughs> <laughs> literally the best internet we've had in ages. Uh, whoa! Right, Amy, we need to upload all our vlogs for the next year in the next four days. Look at our little view as well. There's a little stream, waterfall, with some little duckies on it. <sighs> Bristol, done. done. Thank you so much for joining us on our Bristol adventure and a huge thanks to our patrons and for the bags of chips. For more boat time, follow us on our socials and we'll see you next time.